United States now, we have close to a half a million people who have signed it. I think it's up to uh, 478,000. $3.47 billion was spent on lobbying. Whose money is that? <laughs> okay, I'm... I'm, I'm. To make sure that the 2% don't speak for the 98% of us. I want to clean up our government. About eight hours. Trying to mop up corruption. <laughs> oh, want to stop this. Want to try to get the government back for the people. It, corporations should not be run in our country. Really think that the people should be the ones influencing our elections, not corporations. To make sure that elections are free for all and uh, not influenced yeah. by corporations. Well, corporations are putting way too much money in the politics. Now the Supreme Court ruled that they can have unlimited funds. <laughs> The issue of pledges is she has kind of a blanket, doesn't sign pledge um, sort of uh, a policy. You know where she is with you, um, but um, that's just a, a an issue. She's a position she's taken on all on all pledges. And her rep. But um, you can tell where her position is, obviously, on this issue, with her voting record mm. and her statements. If this is really about free speech of companies, then why do they want to keep it a secret? Well, Betty has been sitting on the fence. She approach, she always supports people in spirit, but we need action, and we need action now. Keith Ellison has signed the pledge. Jim Meffert in the 3rd Congressional District, candidate there, has signed the pledge. For um, the other 98% of us who don't have corporate lobbyists in Washington, I present um, Al Franken's staffers with all the signatures from thousands of people who signed the pledge online. It's always demonstrating basically because the um, Supreme Court gave corporations more power to people and uh, now they can buy the government. I'm here to, to support the group to fight against the corruption in Washington. We want to find a way to help people who want to run for office be able to afford to do so without having to take huge amounts of money from business interests. I just want to say thank you guys for coming and doing what you're doing. You are the antidote to um, what is happening now in our country with the Citizens United decision. So we need you to, to keep fighting. What, what we see is you being the folks that are going to help us move uh, beyond this and hopefully uh, get some policies in place that can't be overturned by the Supreme Court. I'm here because uh, we need to keep big business out of our elections. I'm here to express my anger at the uh, amendment, the decision to have corporates become individual. I am uh, appalled that we have a Supreme Court that is willing to give such power to the corporation. I'm here because I believe the corporate influx of money is really going to be damaging to our whole democracy. Why am I here? Because I'm very frustrated with the Citizens United decision. Have the same rights no matter what. If people can be